Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Montasin Sili. I'm a teacher and researcher at the Department of Social and Applied Science in Languages Division, the College of Industrial Technology, King Mungkut's University of Technology, North Bangkok. I have been teaching here for 25 years. I have a dream. One day I will stand in front of SCORE at Howard University to talk about my research. Today, I'm very proud of myself. I can take the symbols of my beloved workplace to appear in front of the scorer. You, all of you, are scorer in Howard University. This is the biggest dream in my life, even though I cannot stand in front of you in the real situation. However, this video makes me in Howard University. So first of all, I would like to thank you so much to everyone and everything that I work and experience with. Okay, come back to the research. First, the statement of the problem. After I graduated doctoral degree from Victoria University, Melbourne, Australia, at my workplace, I'm responsible for developing two three-year specialist degree curriculum in an English course, especially English conversation for daily life. Every time when I teach students in the class, I usually act as teacher and researcher at the same time. I try to teach and do action research to improve the lesson, and I try to increase students' language abilities as well. However, I realized that the knowledge of learning outcomes just were in the class. At that time, I don't think about joining in a national or international platform because I was very happy in my workplace. As you look at the chart during 2007 to 2013, show the outcomes of my work. As you look at the graph, this graph shows the number of working outcomes during 2007 to 2013. The working outcome of the graph is rather straight and the challenge of teaching and doing research is rather low. As I told you that the outcome of my working was just in the classroom. I just taught as best as I could, and I thought that it was not a good sign for preparing to the next future, which changed very rapidly. So I thought that I had to do something to prepare myself in an uncertain future. Until 2013, I got a huge from Thai government to improve language abilities of university students, especially speaking, to make use of the money that I got from the government. The head of department, my colleague and I talked together to create seven English courses for students and people who were interested in developing their language skills, especially speaking. The name of seven English courses were Course 1, How to Write an Abstract, Course 2, English Conversation for Beginners, Course 3, English Conversation for Intermediate Level, Course 4, English Conversation for Advanced Level, Part 5, English Conversation for English Engineering Student. Part 6, Job Application. And Part 7, Standard Eye Test. While teaching in all these seven courses, I try to observe how achievement learners reach their goals at their own pace as professional. Finally, I found that most of the achievement learners use PLP model to help them to reach their goal at their own pace as professional. At the time, I decided to use PLP model to develop students and myself for an uncertain future. The process of PLP model. There are two steps in PLP models. Step one, starting from self-reflective learning on situation. What are their situation and my situation? Then goal setting, thinking about their goals and my goals and focus, focus on how to reach the goal at their and my own pace. Step two, professional development. There are three parts in this step, professional knowledge, professional practice, and professional engagement. Part one, professional knowledge consists of know myself, know others, know contents in terms of 21st century skill, and know their and my own subject. Part two, professional practice, Student and I use action research procedure to help us to reach our goals at our own pace as professional. In this part, there are two main cycles. Cycle one, plan. We plan to reach our goal. Act, we act following the plan. Observe, we observe what happened while acting following the plan. 
reflect daily lives. Why happen that? Revise vision for the better and report. Report, we report both positive and negative learning outcome. If we don't reach our goal in cycle one, we will shame for the better in cycle two. Part three, professional engagement. We try to find more opportunities to join both national and international platform. The outcome of the research after getting PLP model, as you see the graph, the graph shows that during years 2013 to 2018, the working outcome are increased and the chance of teaching and doing research were increased as well. There were seven outstanding working projects for preparing ourselves in an uncertain future. We use the process of PLP models as the principle to promote self-professional development. And we also really like that the more we do, the more we get, the more we practice, the better we are. Okay, seven outstanding working projects during 2013 to 2018, project one, creating extra English activity for about 1,200 students. Project two, providing research public. Project three, training allow 50 novice researchers to increase personal achievement at the workplace. Project four, acting as a student to get new knowledge and experience. Project five, coaching and encouraging PhD students to reach their go at their own pace as professional. Project six, apply PLP model to solve problem about much more different students' language ability in master degree curriculum. Project one, activity one, extra activity for the course English conversation for daily life. Activity one, I provide extra activity for the course English conversation for daily life. I invited about 30 exchange American students from America an administrator from Global English School as being honored to join the activity in this course. One of the interesting learning outcomes for my students joining the activities, one of them told me that, I promise the next time if I meet you, my English must be better than now. Thank you for helping me. Project 1 Activity 2, Startup CIT Project. The process of learning the project, the process of learning the activities, I start to have students work in group and find more knowledge about startup and try to create their own products to sell in the hall. They were very happy and began to get more knowledge about the startup. The pictures sh were shown as follow. First, advertisement of the activities. Second, students help together to find knowledge and study about famous startup country. It is part one, professional knowledge, student study, famous startup country. Part two, professional practice, student products. They find their own product to sell other. However, this is the first step to student to know about startup business. Part three, professional engagement, atmosphere of the activity. As you see in the picture, the atmosphere of the activity is very fun and happy. Project 2, research public, based on the principles of PLP model. While teaching, I did research as well. Because of trying to reach part three, professional engagement, I try to find more opportunities to join national and international platforms in terms of research public. The research public were as follows. First, enlightening action research made my life easier in the 21st century workplace. It was public in official conference proceeding at Harvard. Second, a short model of professional learning practice of Project 2, English Conversation for Beginners. It was public in international conference proceeding on future trends in learning education and teaching methodology. Research 3, a short model of professional learning practice of Project 3, English Conversation for Intermediate Level. It was public in International Conference Handbook on English Language Education. Research 4. Models of Professional Learning Practice for 21st Century Learner. Focusing on language learning. It was public in International Conference Proceeding on Education. Project 3. Training Allow 50 Novice Researcher. I train allow 50 novice researchers to increase personal achievement at workplace. 
It was organized by National Research Council joining with Gazeta University and Basumdit, Jaipuya Lachapat University. Project for getting new knowledge and experience about startup business and Project 5, encouraging PhD students to join SCT Bangkok Business Challenge 2018. Project 4 and Project 5 were learning at the same time. I act as a student to get new knowledge and experience in Project 4 and act as a culture helper and encourager to enhance PhD students to reach their goal at their own pace as professional in Project 5, the picture show below. Part 1. Professional Knowledge I try to get new knowledge by joining the project Set Startup Incubator by Sassin Chulalongkorn University for getting new knowledge and experience about startup business. Part 2. Professional Practice I try to find PhD students to set a startup team to join SET Bangkok Business Challenge 2018 by using the following process, goal setting, to enhance a team to get startup experience as much as possible. Focus, allow the team to create their new own products for, for building startup business. Investigate, by using the following step, cycle one, plan and act, Team held together to get product ideas by brainstorming on the 9th October 2017. Next step, observe, reflect, and revise. In this step, observe, reflect, and revise. After meeting together, the team meet their products. Egg bite. Egg bite is a healthy snack. Part 3. Professional engagement. Team survey different markets from several places to check their product test. Egg bite. And the business professor, professional from Sassin of Jolalongkorn University were coaching and encouraging the team for pitching SET Bangkok Business Challenge in 2018. In the outcome of this project, the team won the Thailand track winner and got 2,500 US dollars. In the next step, the team tried to develop their products in the manufacturing as shown in the video. Project 6, Teaching Master Degree in Business Communication for Innovation Management. I try to apply PLP model in this course. In this situation, the students' language ability background was very different. I had them reflect it on their own situation and set their goals, what they expected, the learning outcome from this course, and focus how could they reach their goals at their own pace as professional. Interesting learning outcome from the course, the, M the MA student had more positive attitude towards self-professional development. After finishing the course, they expressed their feeling as follow. Subject 1. I think professional development is a panel to achieve the desired goal. I can take the three main steps to plan the future. I set my goal first and learn about my goal. The last step, I made it. I learned to set the goal that I like and I understand the meaning of endless learning. Subject 2. I think developing is good and should be clarified so that I can develop myself properly and get faster results than doing nothing planned. Knowing the principle of professional development is meaning for me to develop a better way in the future. Subject 3. It changed my mind to innovation creation. In the past, I thought that innovation could be created by myself, so my exper experiment focused on the predictable result. However, the professional development told me that that was not true. The real innovation must come from the collaborations and to do something that we don't know the result. Teaching methods. 
Subject 1. Express his feeling. I'm not straight at class with you. You teach fun and have a new homework for me to do. Subject 2. A new teacher is very good. Try to adjust according to the student. There are good teaching methods and teaching materials. I understand quickly. Subject 3. This class stimulated me to acquire new knowledge and practice more, which was the best thing. One of the interesting learning outcomes that I am very proud of myself by using PLP module was that I received the Certificate of Outstanding Teaching, which was evaluated by students in lowering the course that I taught in 2017, organized by the Department of Social and Applied Science, the College of Industrial Technology, King Mongkut University of Technology North Backhoff. It makes me really like that I'm going to the right track to reach my professional goal. Conclusion As you see the graph again, you will see that my working outcomes were much more increased from year 2007 to 2013. It was because I tried to have a project start from step one, self-reflective learning, situation, goal setting, and focus. Step two, professional development. Part 1, Professional Knowledge, Part 2, Professional Practice, and Part 3, Professional Engagement. In doing so, I rely that the process of PLP model promote my professional development, which is very important aspect for an uncertain future, which is changed very rapidly. Moreover, I found that growth mindset is also one of the factors to promote my professional development, and I also assume that People who believe in growth myself and use PLP model will be ready to take more risks of anything which may happen in the path of their life with less stress and happy life as I did. What is a growth mindset? A growth mindset is the belief that we can develop our ability, including our intelligence, which is our ability to think. It is distinguished from a fixed mindset which is the belief that ability can change. Next, I would like to show the following pictures encourage me to move forward. The first picture is, there are no losers in the world, only winners and learner. The second picture is, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid from Albert Einstein. Tony Sorensen, the first and most important person, you must believe in you yourself. And Eleanor Roosevelt, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Dreams are hard to follow, but you don't let anyone take them away. I use all these pictures to encourage students, novice researcher, and me to move forward to an uncertain future. They help me to have less stress and have a happy life because I'm not afraid of failure anymore. The next step in my research, increasing social media channels to promote people's self-professional development. The following is the development of the channels to enhance people's self-professional development. Start from the paper in research, then gradually create it to picture. After that, developing into the model. Finally, it might be applied into digital model. This is the next movement of my research. That's all for my presentation. Thank you so much.